Congratulations girls on winning the BT Young Scientist and Technologist of the Year. How are you all feeling? Shocked. 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 Can you tell me all about your project and the germination project and um, who wants to start? Um, well, we when the idea for our project came when Emer and her mom were gardening one day and they found these wart-like nodules on the end of the roots of their plants and they were like, oh my god, okay, there's something wrong with these plants, they're diseased. And so Emer brought them into her science teacher and our science teacher said there's actually rhizobium in the nodules of the plants and that's where we got the idea for our project. <laughs> what is the implications for, for your research? Um, well, we found because we took the riso we uh, put rhizobium on the seeds of cereal crops, and we found that it actually sped up germination by 50 percent. And we've spoken to some farmers, and they said that this would be really beneficial to them, especially if the land is wet, and uh, it'll prevent the seeds from rotting because they'll germinate faster. And once they're germinated, they're less likely to rot. And, and so, are you planning a career in science in the future? I, I actually really like microbiology, so maybe, and like this will be with me now forever, so you know, if you can use it. I can say it was always known as a young scientist school, like, so when I went there, I said I'd have a go at it, you know, like take it on, and um, the enthusiasm for the young scientists in Kinsale is phenomenal, and all you have to do is tap into it, and it look after itself. I think from the enthusiasm that you've heard tonight, and the enormous amount of effort that has gone into this over weekends, I was talking to the principal of the Kinsale Community School, and the winners, uh, the third time in seven years that his community school have won this outright award. They're in and weekends, um, really working extremely hard on it. And I think if you can unlock that sort of enthusiasm, and we're doing it fairly successfully in a number of different ways, and it does point to me anyway about making the curriculum a little bit more open and flexible.